Hello and welcome to Zach 103 TV. Today we're going to be racing at Denver Motorsports Park. This is the road course uh, variation. Uh, there was actually a vote done on whether this race would be a super speedway or the road course. And road course, uh, I'm honestly surprised. I did not expect to see uh, that win, but it did. So here we are racing road course at Denver Motorsports Park. And uh, we'll see if the decision by the people of the server will benefit the people uh, will benef be beneficial or not uh, we do know that some may uh, some may do better than others of course obviously is how every race goes but uh yeah uh, Reggie you got any first initial thoughts that you think's interesting yeah I do the paint and Barney start in the back that is true uh, these two still uh, within 30 ish or so points of each other trying to find a right camera that would I'm not going to go all the way there. Uh, spectator, Spectator got anything good? Eh, close enough. But yeah, Barney, uh, I think Joy Payne's starting a few spots better, but uh, both of them starting outside the top 30, uh, or very close to outside the top 30 in the race. And uh, that raises the question with third and likes the gaming, who's third in points starting seventh. Do you start catching up to these guys for that points lead battle? You got any other thoughts? Uh, no, I don't. All right. Other than that, uh, one thing I did notice uh, immediately, uh, didn't didn't point it out right off the bat, but the two pole sitters are teammates. Uh, the two-car team, Pure Motorsports, starting in the front row. They have found something at the past couple of weeks. Both those cars have been running very well, top 10 tier, whereas Evan H at the beginning of the season was not gripped up at all to be even talked about uh, he uh, championship hangover for that guy and then zevil rookie season so the terrible combination for the start of the season but now we're going really close to the halfway point they may have found some footing in where they need to be already a great start to this uh denver road course you know our road courses go uh we'll let the rest paint itself out um another interesting thing i want to point out brandon nelson who's been you know consistent not really top three car actually really all season except for Watkins Glen, uh, we've seen him fairly quick at road courses. His uh, one and only win in the Cars and Cup Series came at Old Spice in 2021. Uh, I keep an eye out for him. He's definitely a very uh, cold prospect for the championship, but he's been inside the round 16 pretty much all season, so I would definitely keep him, uh, keep my eyes locked on him and see how he performs. And then Stamey to box looking for a good run. He hasn't really found nothing. Uh, congratulations to them. They just uh, go ahead. Do you show us where the 15, 16, the 60? No, or 15, 16, 17, 18 points are starting for this race. I don't even have my standings pulled up. I guess. All right, 15, 16. I guess it is kind of important right now. I mean, we're still halfway through the seasons. Points are, you know, important, but. I don't know if playoffs are going to be a huge deal. All right, yeah, so Crazy BGD is in 16th in points right now. Uh, he didn't have a good run last week, but he's been inside the top. Oh, wow, he's starting dead last. Okay, this is not looking good for him. He's made, he, he is, uh, I'm going to say right now, Crazy BGD will need a miracle to get this race on his side. And then Bradley Ream, 15th. He's not looking good either. And then so 14th is... Uh, Bert Crown Jr., very good practice. Running fairly close to the front. I won't go too far in, but uh, we got a uh, 17th out. Uh, it's just out looking outside is Jenna Burge and uh, Nash Fireball, Fireball 48. They're both starting together, so may have a good run. And Reggie Fogelman also just outside of that pitcher as well, just by a few points. Starting just ahead of those guys. So, well, just, and he's been very good at road courses. So we're going to go ahead and go to the front and get the call to the engines in just a couple seconds. We'll let that go. Drivers, start your engines! All right. Again, pole sitter is not Evan H. It is, in fact, the 45 of Zevil. So he will get that 10-point bonus. Yeah. Looking good for him. He may actually start becoming a threat for the uh, playoffs. Uh, 
if he keeps this up. Reggie, you want to call the green here when they get past or get, get to that point? Yep, yep, yep. All right, we'll have to watch out. We know, seeing some of these cars have been pretty overzealous on some of these corners. I'll have to keep an eye out for that and make sure there's no flips or anything. I uh, didn't see any flips, so we'll think we're good on that. We'll see. You know, our thumb three is. Coming off the chicane. Oh, I'm not liking Evan H. Start. Okay, they start. They're gonna start clean. I'll go helicopter just in case. Nope, we're good. Green flag. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Look at Nelson going to the bottom. Nelson going to lead. Ah, uh, 45 slips. He's going to hold up the field a little bit. That's going to let the 20 almost get second here. And now the 20 is going to fall back to third, quite possibly uh, lose that position to Drummer Chick 81, who has been fairly consistent as of late. Will. And 11 wanting some spots back. Started second is falling back to fifth, quite possibly uh, getting fourth back. Or, uh, yeah, fourth. A clean pass there on the 20. Oh, the 20 wants it back, though. Oh, he's going to miss the corner. Oh, the 03 misses the corner. 45 misses the corner. 81 going to take second here from the 45. We're going to try to, anyway. Brandon Nelson has checked out for the lead right now. We'll get an update on standings here very shortly. But uh, he's got at least a second lead on these guys. I was just talking about his road course skills. Oh, they touch! A little bit there, and that's going to cause the 81 to miss the corner a little bit. Well, that 45 to surge ahead. That, that's that corner I was talking about. Yep, 45 surge oh, ahead. Brandon Nelson to a second lead on the first lap. Uh, he has checked himself out. Ten laps would be a great race if he wins this for him. That 11 car wants some spots back as well. So the field is definitely separated. Got some three wide in the back. Teammates for hey, Zach. fourth. Zach, you heard me? Yeah, I hear you. I said they almost hit that wall I was talking about. Yeah, that's true. And German Chick 81 battling really hard with that 45 car for, for uh, third place. The 11 car is taking second back. 45 appears to miss the corner. That may allow the may open the door for the 20. We'll see how what that 11 car. Oh, someone did spin out back here. Not sure. It looks like 77 Joy Paints is the last running car, which is not good. They they're out of pit road though, so. I'll have to go back look at some replays. This race seems a little bit too good to take your eyes off of, in my opinion. So I won't go back and look at any replays immediately. I mean, this race is short and stays caution free. We'll go back and look at some replays for sure. Oh, that 03's lead has been chopped. Oh, that 03's lead has been chopped. <laughs> 20 car. 20 car. Oh! Oh no! He's around. Missed the corner, spun out, and he is going to pit road. Or no, he's going to go back on the racetrack. That is costly. The 45 and the 20 get together, and they are both. That's going to hurt that 20 car. He did not need that. Uh, that's going to drop him down to 25th or 20. He's going to lose even more spots here. He's going to lose a ton of spots. He did not need that. These cars get together. That's going to be. Big gap between fourth and fifth. That gap for the lead is closing. How much pressure does that 11 car put on the 03 if Back, it can? Somebody in the grass. Back, somebody's in the grass. I think it was that 40 car. Might have been the 45. 
nonetheless, I don't think it was. I think I don't think it really hurt too much anybody. Fifty four now the lowest running car on the racetrack. Not sure if he's still in it, but he's got some damage. Again, we'll have to take a look at some of these replays since the race is over. And the nine car also falls back. Uh, Might have gotten involved in it. Oh yeah, he's got heavy damage to that car. That's gonna be. He does not need this. He is. We were just talking about him possibly taking some standings, but uh, that's not gonna happen today. He's definitely out of contention now. But we will go back and take a, take a look at uh, after the race. This stays green to the end. Sure. 81, a drummer chick has gotten around the 11. Drummer chick 81 hasn't won a race since since uh, her first season, won the Jazz 5. Oh, the 03 misses the corner a little bit there, so the 45, but has not won a race since. Uh, oh, that's going to play an interesting strat. You're going to go for the lead, but has not won a race since 2021 at Bristol. As we may see, an uh, exchange for the lead here. What does the 11 do? He's there. Let's see a double pass. He's 81's gonna block. That's smart. I think that 11 car is just slightly quicker. I think if German chick just leads a lap here, she's in decent shape. Oh, that 11's so close. Oh, he's gonna move her up the track into the grass. The 11's gonna take the lead. So Brandon Nelson gets passed for the lead on lap four. New leader Evan H. Also keeping an eye on some of the cars in the back, making sure there's no new people falling back there from a accidents. That way we know what to check for after the race. Uh, don't know if there's anything worthy of a yellow, but nonetheless, interesting to see how this goes. Uh, who's faster there, the 11 or the 80, 81? Uh, that's a question we're going to have to see here. And long runs also are going to be a factor and see who has the better run. Oh, Evan H is going to miss the corner. That's going to cost him a ton. 81 also misses it. Oh, he's going to lose a ton of speed here. 803 is going to capitalize on the 81 missing it as well. He didn't lose as much as I thought he would, to be honest with you. 03 wants the spot. I think the 81 may have just the run he needs on the top. No? Negative. We'll see how this corner goes. Oh! Into the 03. He's going to miss the corner. And that'll cost the 03 a couple spots. We've seen people get together in that corner. It's just not the. That's just not the place to be getting together. <laughs> the 81 wanting it back. Evan lit a lap. The 81 wants to lead one. I think the 11 made a mistake off that chicane, so I didn't really see much. But still, these two teammates up here run one. It was running very well, and no one has caught up to these fours. They appear to be just a little bit quicker than everyone else. Ah, he wants it back again. Evan H. Is very aggressive right now. German chick's gonna miss the corner. Man, this is great. Evan H, defending champion, wants to win. Win here today. I don't think he's got to win this. I think he's. I think he's got to win to his name at least uh, one race every season. Yeah, he actually won two last year. So looking to keep that trend continuing. I don't, didn't think I was much concerned, but yeah. Uh, He's looking good to do it today. He's definitely got, taking control of the field from second. As his uh, rookie teammate is doing their best. Not a bad day for them. Been running a little aggressive, which is characteristic of the driver. Check our standings. Don't believe anyone's falling back anymore. Uh, the 54 may fall to the hands of the annual... Oh, 11 just missed the corner. Big there. 6 54. 54... I'm not liking, let's see, 146 to lap times, they're back, 115. So 54 is going to fall to a manual DNF here on this lap, unfortunately. I didn't think I'd see any today. Constantly was hoping against it. The 81 has tried this pass. This is going to be the third lap they've tried it now to try this pass. And every time Evan H has gotten back around. It may work here. We'll see. 
Oh, he's going to play it real aggressive. Duh. Oh, wow. He's going to... May open the door for the 45 and 03. Oh, he's going to miss the corner just a little bit. His teammate gets, cuts him a, quite a bit of slack. 17 at NH has gotten around the 40 and is catching up. I would watch that 17 car. They went to Old Spice and they're fairly good on road courses. I'd watch that 17 real close, actually. If they catch these guys, uh, say, a couple laps, it's, it's going to get a lot more interesting. And they look like they got the speed to do it, too, in that 17 car. Uh, NH. Rick Freeman Jr. up here as well. Hasn't really shown a lot of speed this season. Talked a little about him last week, but... Uh, man, they just can't find it. So, hopefully it goes well. We'll have to see. And Kazo up here could definitely use a good run. He's up here having it. Daniel Paulus and Tina Box is not... Oh, wow. Uh, what happened to Pierce? Oh, three. Missed the corner a ton. Oh, ten moose is it a lot. Okay. Yeah, that corner has definitely been the calamity corner of the race, but German Chick 81 looking to lead their first lap of the race. That 11 car playing some draft games. Is, it looks like the 03 and the 45 have lost this, uh, these two cars right here from that. Oh, the 11 may try to take it early here. Oh, he's right there. He is right there. German Chick going to live to lead the lap. That 17 car going to catch those other two cars, the 03 and 45, and that's going to be open open field to catch that 81 and 11 if they have the speed. That 17 car, the 11 at NH is going to make that pass. 17, I don't know if they got enough time. Let's we'll see. What was that 81 car do? Keeping it clean, keeping it clean. Thought about, thought about putting the door in. Oh, Kept it clean though. 17 is catching up right now. Went from three seconds back to two. I think I'm not sure if it's tire preservation or what, but they found they got something there. That 17 car. Their road course strap for this season has definitely been the uttermost excellent in that 17 car. For real fan motorsports, unfortunately, their teammate in the nine will not live to see a good finish. 77 I'll have to escape the D, the manual DNF which won't help them much and maybe a couple points gained if they finish the 9 not looking good and there's a 32 42 who just came off a win 21 26 48 or 66 26 actually started really well and the 20 who fell to the mid pack unfortunately Shift Squid who won uh Marcus Glenn has found his way into the top 10 unfortunately it's going to bump out uh Lethal Mourner who could use it as well, but one point difference. We'll have to see. So these two are going to be definitely ones to watch for this win. Uh, who's going to be faster than the other is going to be a question. I think that 11 is just just a little bit faster. We'll see if the 17 get any of this lap. Uh, 17 actually lost a ton of time that lap. And this, the uh, 45 got passed, however. So... Forty-five is back there, trying to get his, trying to get a top five. And he's looking to keep it, top five. At Seventeen, you can tell, is just a little bit quicker than these guys. <coughs> yeah, pardon me. But yep, uh, I think we're really starting to see who's quicker here. Both these drivers have yet to win this season. Both Chevrolets. This is add another win to Chevrolet's camp. So we're starting to see Chevrolet bank once more. They did that last season with a lot of wins, but this season had a little bit more. Uh, the manufacturer coming in. I think every manufacturer has at least two wins, maybe three, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But Chevrolet has certainly taken charge after that. Highest running non Chevy is fourth with the 17, which even that's debatable with the. Other car behind. Oh, they both missed the corner really bad. Oh, the 81 just missed it a ton. That's going to change things a ton. Oh, wow. That just may have handed it to the 11. Unless, unless something different happens. But this 11 car is looking pretty good right now for the win. He missed that corner a little bit. We'll see how much the 80, 81 lost there. I think about a second. 
Unless that's actually what that that 81 needs. The 77 will be good, will not need to be DQ'd at their current pace. 03 lost some time there. So that just goes to show this 11 car may just be straight up quicker. We are two laps to go. Um, a lot of gaps right now in the field. I think the gap between the highest running cars based off of just pace. I think it goes back to the uh, 21 of Roberto Crown Jr. He's in 39th. That was about 20 seconds back. But we're going to come to the white flag here. Just wow, that 81 is caught up. That mistake the 11 made was costly. But so did the 81 made, made a mistake too. This is corner. Uh, not this corner, the next one. Or not, not the next one, but the one after the next, after the next, after the next. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, that one corner is is definitely one you need to be careful on. Because if you mess up there, it's over. That 11 car has to make it two more times. And so does the 81 and everyone behind him. Behind them both. And this is it. This is that corner. 81 made it a lot better than that 11. 03 missed it entirely. That's going to allow the 17 to go underneath the 03, but that 17 has met their match with the 45, who will, who will keep third right now. Trying to get a top three for both their cars, which would be pretty big, considering right now they're not running too well in the standings. Uh, uh, pure Motorsports, that is. So the 81 has one lap. We are in the white flag. They have gained half a second, and that is the gap they would need to gain in this one lap to take that lead and quite possibly the win but I think that 11 car just has an advantage a little bit of an advantage in terms of getting around this track a little bit better the 17 trying to advance their position back there on the 0-3 for a last lap pass uh, 17 missed the corner a little bit um, I think that, that could have been it We'll see if the 11 can stay mistake free through these final corners. So the 45 catches up just a little bit. I don't think that's going to be much. Yeah, I just don't think there's much of a gap there. That 11 car is checked out for the win, I think. Oops, I'm just fairly certain. Unless there's a mistake made here in these last couple of corners, I'm not seeing anything different. Oh, that's a great entry by that 81 car, though. Great exit, too. Oh, that's a splendid exit. They just gained a ton of time there. Okay, they're going to... They got a great entry there, too. Ooh, they got to get it right here. They both enter very well. Very, very hit their marks there. I think the 11. I think he's got it. There's no, There's only one more chicane he's got to worry about. Evan H. Coming off a championship hangover, was last in points a few races back. Started second, found something. 81 trying with a last lap shot, but not much. As Evan H in the 11 for Pure Motorsports will win here at Denver Motorsports Park. Well, before I go too crazy on stuff, I want to go back and see what happened on those uh, replay reels. So we're going to go back and see what happened to the 77 first and see why they finished so subpar so this was all uh, very early in the race when this happened all right so this is when they were in their best lap that was a lot before well, what's this all right Looks like all three of these cars derived from the same accident, it looks like. Oh, it's up here. 54, 21, 9. So this is where it happened. Looks like a stack up on lap 1, it looks like. And the 121 involved as well. And 6. Oh, this happened earlier than that. 21. This is in. This is already far back in the pack. Very far back. Oh, these guys. Just wrecked straight up. Oh, Jessica involved too. 
I think Jessica caused it. Uh, all right, so go slow mo here. So it looks like Jessica got in the back of 32. And this is all one accident, so only accident of the race. 21 tried to avoid, didn't work in their best interest, obviously. Spinning out right into the pack in a three wide battle. 26, 21, 121, 54 involved. Six, oh, 70, that's where the 77 guy hit. That was, that was painful. I saved by 67. I want to see what happened in the 6. They slid up the track quite a bit. Uh, hit the wall a little bit. Go full speed for this car's going 3 wide. I mean, you hate to see it. There was nothing they could have done, really. It's just, I, you're surprised you don't see there's more road courses, but it happened here today. Just the 121, 32 got spun up by the 88. And everyone else got tangled up as well. And this cars are already in the back, so Jessica pretty much just dumped them. Really put it simple though. She's 18, she was in 18th at the time. Teammate, I didn't see your teammate all race. Where was he at? I oh, he, he, he wasn't doing much better. He wasn't doing any better. But yeah, that was a lap one incident. Um, I think Reggie left. So this is me. Uh, interesting race. I think that was pretty good. Uh, try to have something different next week. Uh, I think uh, we're going to Iowa in the Cup Series. I'm not sure where the NCCRS is going on during this week. So we'll have to watch. I'll. I'll You'll have to check the schedule for that. Um, other than that, uh, things are good. Reggie Fogelman helped out quite a bit with this one. Um, that uh, lap time, you're, uh, that leaderboard you're seeing right there is not accurate. That's actually the qualify results. So I'm going to turn that off. But anyways, uh, good race. Seven minutes. Wow, fairly short. But wait, I uh, could be wrong. Uh, but anyways... Uh, congratulations to Evan H winning that. Good laps led by some other cars in a fairly interesting top three. Pure Motorsports with a top three as well. Uh, remember Chick second. So enjoy paints not finishing so well. So that could definitely put a dent in that points lead. It's going to, that 20 car, <laughs> a lot of storylines from this. I uh, don't want to hit all of them, but on behalf of me, uh, Reggie Fogelman, Cars and Cup Series, this is Wack 103 TV, and we will see you at Iowa.